This is me, trying to learn a new language in 7 days. A guy from Russia who is studying in Greece, speaks 3 languages and decides to learn French and maybe become a polyglot. Bonjour! Sure, like, I don't suck enough in those 3 languages, why not add another one? But why French? Because I like the country and I love how the language sounds. I would love to watch TV shows in French. Before I started, I did a bunch of research on language learning. I searched on Google and after reading some articles, I knew that this is not gonna work. So I decided to research on a trustworthy and old place called Reddit. No, but seriously, I found some helpful advice and resources there, wrote them down and this is what we have. I need to use these resources in the most efficient way possible, not only to learn how to speak French, but also reach A2 level. I will be taking a test after 7 days that will determine my French level and I will speak to you in French. Sounds impossible? Well, just to be clear, the only thing I know is that they pronounce R's pretty weirdly and I know a few phrases like Je m'appelle and your name, then I know oui, oh, bonjour, j'adore la stigue la pourrée. We had French in elementary school and that's the only thing that stuck with me. The first step is the vocabulary. Since I know nothing, I have to find the most common words and get familiar with them. I didn't make my own list, instead I used Memorize and a list of words that another user has made. So thank you a lot dear Cicero. And then I started studying. I was studying every single day for hours, just vocabulary and nothing else. After using Memorize for quite a few hours, I was jumping straight into Duolingo and used it as a supplement since it wasn't that frustrating and it's pretty much built like a game. And I spent a little bit more time than I should on Duolingo, I have to admit that. Duolingo taught me something really useful. A shot, mange, une orange. I was also watching a French show on Netflix to practice listening and getting used to how the language sounds. I used an extension that lets me have both French and English subtitles on, so this way I can learn new words and phrases or see how phrases I learn are used in real life. I was listening to French songs too, I wasn't looking at the lyrics and writing down new words, but it was helping me stay inspired and interested in the language. So my initial plan was to learn as many words as possible in the first few days and move on to grammar in order to learn how to form sentences. Sounds pretty logical, right? But things didn't go as planned. Using Memorize got a bit frustrating after using it for a couple days, just smashes you in the face with vocabulary. I'm using a different software now for vocabulary and that's, here you go, this is the link you. It, it basically reads you a story and it teaches you vocabulary through the story. While using Link, I felt like I was learning more efficiently and I was already trying to form some basic sentences. Je prendrai plus à plus, mot et phrase. While also using a translator. We are not gonna use Google Translate, we are gonna use DeepL. Seems like a more legit translator. I was even able to have a few basic conversations with a friend of mine that speaks French. But after using Link for about two days, things changed once more. It's day five and I've learned some stuff. Pourquoi j'étudie le français? J'étudie le français parce que c'est une belle langue. It's going great. Je réveillé ce matin, I swear. Et je pris mon petit déjeuner. Déjeuner. Got it. The past two days, day three and four, I was overwhelmed. I didn't really want to read, study French. And then I found out about a new method. The thing that helped me most is speaking. Uh, je bit et je te dis. Agresse, like speak to yourself. Je vous, je te dis, je bite à France. No, but you know what I mean. I got inspired by another YouTuber that studied French, but he was just speaking French. He wasn't reading at all, he was just speaking. Aujourd'hui, j'étudie un peu le français. J'ai aussi utilisé Duolingo, mais il te apprend. Il te prend soch de stupide. Pour exemple, un chat mange un orange. That's pretty much it for now. So I was learning how to speak about things I like. Je regarde une série française sur Netflix appelée Le Point. C'est une série très intéressante. Et je mange en même temps. Then I started writing about uh, something I wanted to talk about, like my day, for example, something pretty simple. So I wrote about my day in English, and then I was trying to form the sentences and talk about my day in French. I was an epic failure trying to make those sentences, but 
after I translated them, I studied them, and they just stuck with me. Then I took the sentences, wrote them down on Quizlet with their translation, and studied them. This way, I could form sentences, learn the grammar from those sentences, and actually talk about something you want. Like in everyday situations, you're not gonna say a cat eats an orange. So I'm gonna do that for the rest three days, today, tomorrow, and the day after that. And then I'm gonna take the tests, hopefully not fail miserably. So I was learning more and more and I was getting more comfortable. I was getting ready for the test that I was gonna take, but the last day I didn't feel that well. Learning a new language is not easy. Don't let any other YouTuber tell you that it is. I didn't want to study anymore, I just did a quick revision and I practiced on Duolingo a little bit because I wasn't really motivated. And the time to take the test had come. I felt like I had forgotten most of what I learned. It was late at night and I was trying to pass the A1 and A2 tests. I was also supposed to speak to you in French, but I dropped everything and I decided that I was gonna do this last part the next day. It's the next day. I re revised some of the French that I've learned, a little bit on Duolingo and that kind of stuff, you know, Quizlet. So I found a different test. I'm gonna start the test and I'll see you again in the results. I'm not afraid at all. Bro, I'll finish the test. An approximate level of A2. Let, let me show you. Look at that. It says A2. A freaking two. Like here people pay for classes for one or two years to reach that level, which you can do at home with little to no money. And that's what I'm trying to show you in this video, that it's actually possible to do. To reach and master A2 you need about 200 hours, and if you study two hours a day you can do that in about 100 days. What I did was not mastering the level, because I can forget everything in a few weeks. You don't need six months or a year. At B2 level you pretty much know French, and you need about 600 hours. So if you study two hours a day, you can reach that in a year. You see what I mean? So I'm gonna talk to you about me. Let's let's do that in French, okay? Alors, parlons des choses qui nous aimons. J'aime beaucoup voyager, mais je n'ai encore voyagé nulle part. J'ai vu visiter de nombreux pays d'Europe, comme la France, l'Espagne, l'Angleterre, et j'ai aussi étudié uh, dans un pays européen et vivre pendant un certain temps si si je l'aime là-bas. Uh, maintenant, je j'habite et j'étudie à Grèce. Maintenant, j'habite et j'étudie à Grèce, mais je n'aime pas je n'aime pas ça ici. Et il y a de nombreuses raisons à cela. J'aime aussi apprendre les langues. Quand on apprend une langue, c'est comme si tu entras un, un nouveau monde. On a l'impression de te connecter avec le pays, même si tu n'y vivais pas. Et, C'est vraiment étonnant. Je me regarde des vidéos sur YouTube sur les langues et voyages. Certains de mes youtubeurs préférés sont Nathaniel Drew, Anna Lynx et Shai. Oui, maintenant, parlez-moi de tout. So with more practice, more days into this, I believe I can reach a satisfying level. And so can you. If you take it easy, enjoy the process, enjoy learning the language, it can be pretty fun learning the language. Take care and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.